Uh, hey, good morning. I have to take a shower. Someone that I... I found out someone that I knew died. Uh, I guess beginning of December or something. And I don't know, maybe I should talk about it. But I have to take a shower and get coffee. Uh, so... What the hell happened? Uh, this is one of the girls from the tanning salon that passed away. And I could tell, like, because dealing with uh, the black girl, uh, I don't want to say, like, dealing with, like, it's a, like, it was a problem I had to deal with. But, uh, hard stuff to talk about. Um, but yeah, with seeing like how angry the black girl was, uh, I saw like the same stuff in this girl from the tanning salon. And uh, the girl from the tanning salon was like covered in, in tattoos and, and everything. And uh, I guess I can say her name. Uh, her name was Victoria as well. Uh, and yeah, I saw like her arms covered in tattoos. And uh, they were like beautiful tattoos, not like uh, not like hateful or concerning tattoos or stuff like that, uh, like artwork and, and stuff. And uh, like whenever I would I would go in, like I I was like you could look in my past videos, like I was using the tanning salon as a way to get comfortable talking to girls and stuff and, and asking girls out and, and dealing with rejection and, and all that because I'm not really exposed to a lot of girls or people or anything uh, how I am now. So, uh, so, um, so yeah, I would walk in and say like, hey, how are you doing to the girl and, and uh, and I would like try to start conversation with her, but I didn't really know how or what to say or anything. And I was like super uncomfortable and I should have just told her like what was going on with me and everything instead of like trying to uh, just talk, just pretend like, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, but she was always like really cold to me. And when I... Uh, when I, when I would like leave, I would say like, oh, bye or, and have a nice day and be like uh, cordial or friendly or whatever. And she would just like look at her phone and not like acknowledge me or anything, which like made me like upset because I'm like trying real hard to like get her attention and everything. So, uh, so yeah, also previously to this, like, a couple, maybe like a year before this, before I started trying to talk to her and, and all the other girls and everything. Uh, here, I'll show you. I used to wear like all this uh, Navajo jewelry, uh, like a squash blossom necklace, a cuff thing, uh, a couple rings. And, uh, and another turquoise and, and silver necklace. So yeah, like a few, like a year or something before uh, talking to, before all that, like that girl was like, oh, I like your, uh, I like your necklaces. And, uh, and I'm like, oh, okay. So then like I went into the tanning booth and then came out and was like, oh, uh, I had like a really awkward conversation like oh I got this because of this reason or, or something I don't remember what I said it was like just really awkward and uh I should have like asked her out then I think because I think she was like expressing interest in me and uh but then that's when I got the idea that I would ask her out in the future I thought it was okay but uh but yeah I got like really frustrated with her because like I would try talking to her and she would like uh always like uh like shut me out and whatever and I know like the like 
when when I asked her out, I just like went out and said it like, hey, I have a question. Oh, that's what I would like go into. Like I would have something on my mind to talk to her about beforehand and like something to start a conversation. And uh, yeah. Um, yeah, so. Oh yeah, I remember where I was going now. Uh, I would walk in and I didn't know like how to like talk to her or anything. So I would start off the conversations like, hey, I have a question or or like stuff like that. Sorry if there's noise outside, my, my downstairs neighbors are moving out. But, uh, but yeah, so I think I like walked up to her and said like, hey, I have a question uh, and this is like, really weird or whatever but will you go on a date with me and she's like no i have a boyfriend and uh then i don't know i i couldn't deal with like the rejection or didn't know how to deal with it and was also like embarrassed of being rejected and, and stuff like that so it was like really hard to to talk to her and see her like after that and everything and i got so i like found her uh, I found her online on on Facebook, and uh, this is back when when I had a Facebook account, and she uh, I don't know I th think it's like normal to to look up people that you're interested in and everything, and that's like another reason that's like the reason that I like was reaching out to her is because I saw like all this like hurt in her heart that I wanted to heal and stuff. Um, so yeah, with like looking her up on uh, online, uh, I, I saw that she was like, uh, she was in like Florida and uh, got arrested for writing higher tips on her like debit card. For she was a waitress and wrote like higher tips on people's uh, transactions and stuff. And she got charged for like taking like eleven hundred dollars or something and arrested for that. And then there was like another article of her um, in uh, another article of her in New Jersey where she like overdosed on heroin in, in an alley and stuff and uh so I was like trying to reach through to her but yeah I was also like really mad at her rejecting me and stuff and I shouldn't have been like that and that's why like the Victoria now like I'm trying like my hardest not to be mad at her and and because like that's what I talk about with, uh, like when you can't, when you, when you can't attack people and stuff, then that's where the hurt comes, comes out and stuff. So that's why I'm like hurt a lot. But, um, yeah, so I feel like bad and, and I should have like apologized to, to her. Um, It was just like, she was really combative and um, really hard to talk to because like, like I, I just couldn't break through to her and didn't know how and stuff. And I, sh I should have just been honest and, and everything and, and all that and, and open about everything. And and I know that, and that's what transferred into my relationship with, with this new Victoria, but yeah, all right.